Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to be working on this MacBook Pro. Uh, as you can see, it is a mid-2009, and it's got a 2.66 GHz Intel Core 2 dual processor. It's got 4 GB of memory at uh, 1067 MHz and DDR3 graphics. It has an NVIDIA GeForce 9400. M with 256 megabytes of RAM memory in it. So, um, this uh, a good friend of mine, uh, his buddy had this MacBook and it locked up on him. And so, <coughs> excuse me. So, anyway, I got it. Uh, the first thing I noticed is the hinge for the display is, is busted on this side here. It's actually came loose from the inside of the case. It's not the hinge because I tried to repair it before and it came loose so I have another method of repairing it. Um, and anyway so it would boot up. You got the little spinning wheel of death there and uh, it would just freeze and couldn't do anything. So I took the disk out, the drive out. It's got a conventional hard drive in it and uh, tried to uh, do uh, some um, drive restoration on it, running some different programs, and it's just got one bad sector after another. I couldn't uh, restore anything, so I happened to have another exact same hard drive that I put in it, and the um, hard drive that it has in it is the, uh, it's a 328 gigabyte uh, Toshiba drive, and uh, 2.5 size, because um, it's, well, it's a laptop, not a desktop. And so anyway, uh, it was just, I just happened to have the exact same one. So what I did is I put uh, El Capitan on it. Uh, that's the last version of software this will natively run. Uh, you can run High Sierra with DOS Dudes Patcher. And I'm going to try it once I get the SSD in it. Um, I did try it without it and I had lots of problems because this, these mechanical drives with this type of program um, it just hangs up and when I do format it it's going to be the APS uh, Apple file system instead of the extended journal um, and that will run better with SSD and so the plan for this is <clears throat> I'm going to put a new display on it um, let me show you my messy garage here so this is the way it was when I got it. He had tape on it and everything, but the glass is just all busted up on it. I don't know if you can really see it, uh, see the cracks on it here. There you can see the cracks right there, but it's all shattered. Amazingly, I got this off in one piece because actually it started coming off. So anyway, I got a new display glass ordered for it. Um, and I got, um, it has four gig of memory now. We're gonna max it out to eight gig. We're going to put a 500 gigabyte SSD crucial drive in it. I've had really good luck with those. I've never had any issues with them. They're, they always run without any hiccups. Um, and then also the battery is shot in this too. I mean, it takes forever for it to charge. It's got close to 500 cycles on it. And you get the little uh, triangle sign. And I've had the battery out and it's actually kind of starting to swell up a little bit. So I got that ordered. And... Uh, yeah, so it'll, and also the optical drive doesn't work on it either. So just basically had to put all new guts in it. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is um, this, uh, he gave me to go ahead to do whatever I needed to do on it. So, and I've already had this thing apart once because I tried to fix the display uh, against the case and the type of uh, glue that I use didn't hold very well and I kind of, was kind of skeptical of it. So anyway, I've got a different type of uh, adhesive I'm going to use on them. And they actually did have a recall on these back in the day for that very same problem where this case delaminates from this metal piece here. So the way this thing is put together is this is your, your screen. You take the screen out because this is this it's got six screws that hold it in. And then you get this little metal framework that just lays in here. The other problem is, is that the little metal framework is cracked right down there which is no big deal um, but what happens is 
this whole thing pulls it away because the type of glue that they used, it's a heat sensitive glue, and it looks like they hardly used any on it. Just just this little specks here and there. So I think that's probably why they were recalled. They were just weren't done properly. So anyway, unfortunately, this is way past uh, the warranty. So anyway, um, and the other thing I noticed too is this case has got the very top. The outside looks pretty good, but it's got it's got a little bend. So when it closes, there's a little there's, there's a gap here when it's closed all the way, just just a little bit. So when I get this all apart, I'm gonna put this on a piece of flat, and I'm gonna see if I can press this, and make it perfectly true again so then when we get it put back together uh, it'll close properly so anyway yeah so it's um the cosmetics it's not too bad I and mean, it's got a few dings on it um the underneath side looks really nice that out the other side of the cover got a few scratches on it but yeah so um this has got uh, usb 2 on it it's got a card reader on it the audio in out and it's got Firewire 800 on it. It's got mini DVD display. And of course you got the Kensington lock and it's MagSafe. I love MagSafe. Yeah, it's a shame that they, they got away from that. Hopefully they'll go back to that. I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, plug it and you plug it back, just it plug itself in and it's, it's battery's finally charged up on its green now. But so anyway, yeah, in fact, we can go here and we can look at the battery actually let's let's do this here let's go back to about this mac here i didn't mean to click all the way out of it here and then we'll get the uh, system report here and then let me see here so we'll go down to a power here and there's the uh the battery and it's got a fully charged but it does not last very long and actually the battery that I got ordered for this is actually going to be a bigger battery so it's going to last it's a 5400 uh, milliamp hour the biggest one you can put in this is actually a six cell and it's totally compatible Sorry guys, I thought I was taping here and I didn't realize it wasn't taping. But anyway, I got the motherboard out um, and I took the heat sink off. And like I said, you can see how dried up this thermal paste is. I mean, it's just like dried. So, you know, that'll cause your Mac to run a lot hotter. Um, I mean, look at this on the heat sink. All these were all these the graphics processor and the GPU. It's just all crusted up. So I'm going to use um, some isopropyl alcohol. It's nine, uh, <clears throat> this is 70%, but you can use, you know, I, usually I have 91%, uh, but this will work. It just takes a little longer sometimes. So I'm going to clean it all up here, and then uh, we'll put some new thermal paste, and we'll put it back into the machine. So let me, um, I'm going to clean this stuff here, and uh, I'll be right back.
almost done. Just a just a couple little spots here. Looking pretty good though. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to get it. At least I know when it went back together, it was looking good. So, but this will definitely uh, keep the processor cooler, and it'll boot up faster. And if you're running a lot, opening up a lot of windows and stuff, it'll work a lot better. It won't be tasking the processor so much as far as because it's getting so darn hot. So anyway, so let me just kind of wipe this off. This has uh, alcohol on it already, this rag. I'm just kind of going over it here just to see what we got. And another nice thing, when you take them all apart, you can get all the dust out of them. Dust and bad thermal paste is a issue with any computer, and especially laptops. They just suck it right in. But anyway, so yeah, so that looks good. So it looks all nice and pretty there, nice and shiny. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some thermal paste, which I have the MX4. Um, this is what I use. I, I never have any of the Arctic. Um, supposedly it lasts for eight years. I don't know, I'll have to check it out eight years and see how it looks. It all dries out after a while, some's better than others, but depends on what you like, personal preference. So anyway, put that there. And this is the, the speaker there, I was just getting my little paintbrush here, I'm gonna kinda dust it off here, that bugs me. Just gonna kind of get a little dust off there. See, a little paintbrush works really good. You can get in all little cracks and everything, and I can go over this with it. Just kind of, if there's any paper towel or anything, you can kind of get that off of it, or any of that hard paste that was left on it. And then you can kind of, kind of hit the board a little bit here too. Get all the dust bunnies off of it. It's kind of funny. We call dust dust balls dust bunnies. It's kind of funny how it got that name. So, hey -hoo. And then uh, that looks pretty good in there. Blow all that stuff out. I'll just take some canned air and It's time to do it when it's out of the machine. So there we go. All right, so now we are gonna thermo paste it back down. Um, and basically what I do, everybody has their own method here. But what I do is, um, get this lined up here. Uh, what I like to do is um, I like to put it on both sides, okay? It's kind of like when you glue something. You should always, you should always glue, put it on both sides, okay? Now, um, I don't care if it makes a little bit of mess here because it's better to have too much than not enough, you know? And just think it like a sandwich. And when you squeeze it together, it's going to ooze. So you don't you don't have to get it all you know perfect. Although you try not to get it on your stuff here, because it will compress and it'll flatten out. And this is supposed to be non-conductive. So if you get it on the any electrolytic parts. You know, conductive surfaces, it's not supposed to do anything to it. So, anyway, um, yeah. So now, let's see here, which way does it go? Uh, duh. Let's see here. Uh, I am 
mentally challenged here today, I'll tell you. I guess it's gonna, I guess it's gotta go that way, right? Yeah, there we go, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to get it right pretty close where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna get a get a screw on it here. Well, that's not gonna work, people. This is what I need right here. Okay, like I said, man, it is cold in my garage, man. I hate it. Don't you hate it when your hands get cold? I know I do. Okay, good. All right, so I'm just kind of getting these located, and then we'll go back and we'll tighten them down. And like I said, these got springs on them, so you gotta hang on to them here. Because they will launch. Trust me, I've done it. And then you spend a half hour or an hour looking for it. And uh, like for me, I don't have that much time, you know? I was busy doing something. And then as we uh, <coughs> wind them down, it will make that thermal paste ooze all over the dye and the heat sink. And like I said, this will make it work a lot better. Be like a new machine. And <clears throat> some folks are intimidated, you know, tearing your Mac apart. But you know, I mean, I'm, a <clears throat> I'm an electronic technician by trade. Went to school many years ago. And um, I've had like three professions in my life. I came out of electronics industry, electronics industry. Um, but before that, when I was a teen, early teen, I worked for my dad and uncle. We worked in, we had a big steel company back in Kokomo, Indiana. And unfortunately, last year uh, we closed it down. I was born in 1958. That's the same year that they opened up Stahl Welding Incorporated. And my cousin Jeff, uh, my his dad, Bud, he was him and my dad, Jack, were the ones that started it. And then Carl, that was one of the other brothers. Um, they laid the block for the, the buildings and all that. And so it's kind of sad to, to see that go, but you know, Jeff said that it just, it's not that it wasn't enough work, it's just that um, the taxes kept going up because when we used, when where we lived, it was un unincorporated. It was out of city limits. So ever since it got in city limits, they were slapping all these restrictions and stuff and insurance was just sky high. It was really sad. But anyway, life goes on. And then, then I got electronics, did that for many years. And then when I got laid off from this one company, I always liked optical. I was very fascinated with the work in it. I worked in it commercially on big optical cameras and stuff. And so I went to school for it and I've been an optician for 30 plus years. But I'll tell you, guys, <clears throat> never ever stop learning. Um, when you do, then that means that um, you're not living life right, because every day you should be learning something. Even if it's just useless trivia. At least it's a good exercise for your brain. And what I'm doing, I'm just going back through these things and just cranking these down, because I want this to be on there good. 
And we are down, and uh, I can see the paste oozing down there. That's good. So, yeah, so we are ready to go back in the board. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down on here. Let's see. Let's see, I believe that was, which one was that on? I think it was on this one here. It's still sticky. I'm just going to stick it back down there. I think we'll be good. Yeah. Still got some stickum on it, so we should stick it back down there. There we go. Yay. All right. And then on this microphone, I got some double-sided tape we'll stick that down with. That's basically what they used. So anyway, let me go get the other part of it here. Like I said, this is quite the project here. Um, like I said, bad drive, bad optical drive, um, bad battery, although it's kind of funny. It's, it's not giving me the bad symbol, but it's, it's got a big bulge in it and you can squish it. And uh, I know when it's down the machine, that cover kind of presses against it too. So anyway, so yeah, so now the fun part We'll be putting this back in, and I'm just trying to think here uh, what's going to be the best way here. It was the uh, microphone that was what keeping the board from going in it. You had to push it up from underneath to go in the socket and it wasn't in there all the way. So that's why it wasn't going down. So anyway, now we can put the screws back in it and uh, be good.
Okay guys, so <clears throat> I got it all back together and uh, got the, I fixed the connector on the fan there, so it's all good. <clears throat> the, I, I unplugged these cables because we're going to be taking out the, um, off the screen here. So, so basically we're going to do that. We're going to pull the screen off and we're going to take out the inner frame and undisconnect it and then we're going to re-glue it so it looks good. So anyway, because like I said, that was a problem with these Macs um, this particular year, is the outer case delaminated from the actual uh, part that's reinforced. And I'll, I'll show you here in the video. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so we got the motherboard all back in. It works fine. And it's uh, repasted. And so now we're going to work on the, take the display out and fix the uh, hinge mechanism that is glued to the outer case. And then we just have to wait for the new parts so I can finish this project up. Okay guys, so <clears throat> this video is being shot in the course of over a week. So anyway, this is actually a couple days later. But So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the display off. And the first thing we have to do is get this clutch cover off. and. Uh, once you get that off, then we can finish taking off the uh, screws. Um, there's uh, three screws on each one, the hinge screws on each side. I've already taken the <clears throat> the uh, cable screws. I've already taken those off. Those just basically hold the cables down. So now we can get this little clutch cover off, and then um, then we'll be able to go ahead and take the screws off, and then the display will be dis de detached, and then we're gonna do some surgery on that okay so we're going to try to get this cover off and uh like i said a lot of this video i speed up because it's pretty boring otherwise so so anyway you just kind of you got to slide this thing there's like little notches in it at an angle in there not the display but the uh, the frame it's is letting go from the back of the case and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here once we get this thing all done here come on get out of there peeps there we go finally sheesh good and we got lucky we didn't break anything so that's good Whew, i was getting worried thing was just so darn tight in there yeah we're good we got it because when this thing is in there you have to slide it it locks into place so this is the um the wi-fi antenna i believe so all right so we're gonna put that out of the way and um, I'll take my flashlight here and just look down here real quick here to see. Yeah, it's, and you got to be really careful. There's this cable here that fits underneath there. It goes up underneath there, and then this one's the video cable. And that's the problem too. Is you got to make sure when you put this thing together. Um, so this is a flat cable and it's really hard to get back in here it really is and I'm gonna have to look at I fix it to remember how this went back in there because it's it's um, I mean there's it's a flat cable so 
I think it goes in here and just loops around here, but I'm not sure. Because more I get to thinking about it, I thought it went on this side, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, this one's pretty pretty evident how that goes. So anyway, all right. So now we're going to take the screen off here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to because this is really separated. Um, blow the dust off of it here. Oh, okay. And I got the towel. I got this on a towel, and I got it laying down on the side table so we don't scratch the display here. And so now what we're going to do is, um, let me um, get you moved in here a little bit because uh, you, can't, you can't see it here. Let me just do this here. There we go. Let me just move this a little bit here. Let me uh, loosen this up here a little bit, get you a little better camera angle here. Try to anyway. Let's see here. That's better the other way. Hang on. Kind of limited on my workbench here. I'll how about I'll slide it down a little bit. There we go. All right. So anyway, there's uh, I believe these are Torque Six screws. And look at my scrap pile over here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, because I'm eager. I want to get this case fixed, so that way. And the other issue I have too is it's got a little bend in it, so we're gonna have to put it on something flat and just get the bend out of it. Because when it's closed, it's got like a little gap there, and you can see it. That I think it got dropped once upon a time, and uh, that's why it's got that little bend in it. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this out here. I think this is a Torx 6. Let me see if this is Torx 6. That is a T6. And yeah, because I, I already started taking the hinge screws out, so. Alright, so I'll come out there and I got. Um, That over there and then there's um there's three of them on here and then there's also hinge screws on the inside of this as well and I try to keep all the um, screws together um, as far as like where they go to like the right hinge goes to the right hinge, the screws from the left hinge go to the left hinge. And this is actually upside down, so. And always nice to have a magnetic bit, guys. Really. Sometimes they work against you, but most of the time they're very helpful. Okay, so now the screen is loose. Just lift it up. And there we go. It is detached now. So what we're gonna do, I gotta be real careful not this connector not to scratch the uh, CRT here. Ah, get back there. And uh, definitely have to give this a good dusting before we put that new screen back, or the uh, <coughs> new glass on it. I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna move this out of the way, the computer. Put this down here and what I'm going to do is you can't see it on camera but I'm going to put the uh, bottom just put the bottom case back on it um, just to protect the, the components and, uh, and I'll just lean it back up here <coughs> okay good and I got the battery leaned against it so it won't open up okay so now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the little screws out for the display here. And keep these all together. These are the screws for the battery. <clears throat> I just put the battery in it, 
um, all the little tabs are already broken off of it. So, so anyway, uh, okay. So these are just regular Phillips, and this is going to be a problem here. So I'm going to stick this underneath the cover temporarily, and then so we're going to take these Phillips screws out here. And um, so my goal today is to um, get this inner frame out. I'm going to have to clean it up because I tried to fix it with some epoxy down here and you'll see it. And um, actually I should use some, um, I thought JB Weld would work really good, but for whatever reason it didn't. And usually that stuff works on everything, but for whatever reason it didn't work on this. So. I got some other stuff I'm going to try that should work because it'll stay just a little, it won't get really rock hard. It'll always have a little flexibility to it. And that's probably some of the issue. So all the screws are out of here. You'll see this display, which should just fall right out here. I think we got all the screws out of it. Yep. There we go. And uh, so yes, yeah, so it's it's loose. So now what we need to do is we're going to have to uh, unhook the cable from it here. And it's interesting because underneath this metal piece, this metal piece is screwed into a plastic piece, and that plastic piece is what is attached to the case. And that's what has come loose on this side here. And uh, you'll see it once I get this once I get this out. I just um, don't want to jack anything up here. Gotta be really careful with these plugs too. I have lots of video plugs, but none for this model. Okay, so let's take a look here. And that plug's in the back there. And uh, I really hate plugging this thing, but we're gonna have to. Stick this back down in here. Get a little more room here. Actually, if I just break this loose all the way, I'll, I wouldn't have to pull this. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some slack on this cable here. There we go. All right, there we go. And you got to be really careful with this thing, man. I mean, this thing is really fragile. It just plugs in, it's got tape over it. It just plugs in there. But you know what, I'm gonna do something here. I'm going to, now you, now you can see right here, hopefully you can see this in camera here. Um, I need some more room here. Let me see here, there we go. So um, <clears throat> I tried to use a uh, the hair dryer because this is supposed to be thermally activated glue, and I heated the bejeebers of it, but it didn't budget a bit. So so I'm gonna rethink my repair here. So anyway, you can see right here at the bottom here. This is where where the hinges go, okay, and this is where it's pulled loose right there, okay. And that's th these are I guess that was uh, there was a recall on these. So <clears throat> anyway, um, you can see where that dark stuff right in there, that's where I tried to epoxy it before and it just didn't hold on to it. It just, you know, didn't bond to the upper metal, what I can tell. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I've been trying to clear some of this um, epoxy out 
and um, so I'm going to take a Dremel with a wire brush, get down in there, clean that up. And I think what I'm going to do is, because uh, everything else is still tight, and this here is actually mounted on the case. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do, this here is actually still mounted on the case here. So you see this here. I can I have enough room. I'll be able to put that new adhesive in there, and then fix it that way. Because um, like I said, the top is all nailed down good on it, and I mean I I, I tried to pry it loose, and it's you know, with the razor blade and it doesn't even budge so I'm just okay guys so after about two hours I got all this uh, all this uh, epoxy cleaned out of here and uh, it took you know a combination of a Dremel tool <laughs> and some sandpaper and some dental picks and stuff to get all cleaned up so anyway so now it's all clean uh, straighten the lid out a little bit so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-glue this bottom part down. Like I said, everything else is nice and tight on it. I mean, it's just, uh, um, you know, it's nice and tight. And the, the lid's not that bad. i got to clean it up a little bit. But it's the top, the cosmetic's pretty good on the outside. Um, this part here, you can see, this is where I uh, had to sand all that epoxy off it. Didn't affect the outside. It's just it's just just barely brushed the surface there. But I want a good bonding surface on that. So anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this. I'm going to do it off camera, and then because uh, I think I'm going to have to clamp it too, but it'll be easy to do um, once I get it uh, glued up here. So all right. So uh, when you see it next, it'll have a bunch of clamps on it. Okay guys, it's been four days later and uh, I glued this um, these hinges back on where it goes up against the metal case, the inner frame here, uh, you can see right there. And uh, so we're going to hopefully, uh, we're going to put this all back together. I put the uh, EyeSight camera back in it already, the Bluetooth and the antenna back on it. And uh, so yeah, so all we got to do now is we're going to put the screen back in it and um, then we are going to attach it back onto the computer. I've got all the parts. I have um, new battery right in here. There's a new battery. I got a new screen. I've already put the uh, optical drive in it. And um, and then uh, my SSD, I'm still waiting for that to drive on it, but we'll get it all. And I got the RAM in it too. I got the eight gig of RAM in it too. So so anyway, um, yeah. So we just get this monitor put back together, get it attached, and hopefully that glue will hold. We'll we'll put it to the test. Um, so uh, we'll start putting this together just shortly. All right, so we've <laughs> we finally got the um, clutch cover on there. I had to I had a little bit of extra glue. I had to get out of that seam there, and that's what was preventing it to go on. It took me like a couple hours to get that thing on there. But anyway, so we are good to go. It's on there, so we are ready to mount this back on the computer.
Well, I'm going to hit the power button here and see um, what happens here. Fans are spinning up, displays lighting. Okay, good, got the backlight on it. Things are very quiet. Yeah, it's booting up. See, it's booting up, so that's good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the um, back cover on it here. I'm just gonna put it on. I'm not gonna screw it down yet. And the next thing is I'm going to close it and see um, what happens here. Put this on the bottom. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, there we go. Yes, system clock is incorrect. That's right. Well, it's booting up. Okay. Moves. Okay, good. All right, good. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really paranoid here. <laughs> I always get right paranoid on this here. So, anyway, um, yeah, so we're booted up. So, great. So, um, I'm going to play with it for a little bit and uh, open and close the cover, and then I'll then I'm going to glue the uh, the glass down on it. All right. And this glass has got a, a heat sensitive uh, tape backing on it. So, um, we'll do that just in a minute. Let me get this check a few things on this. The battery's at 43%. The Wi-Fi is connected. Unless let me just do a few things, make sure the camera still works and all that. So I'll be back in a few. Hi guys. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it seems you're working beautifully. Um, it, um, I'll get about, about this Mac here and it, uh, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. It's charging right now. Um, let me go to about this Mac here. And so that we're running the latest version of El Capitan. Now, like I said, this is what this machine supports natively. Uh, we can put high Sierra on it, but um, I'm going to wait until I get to SSD um, and then I'll load high Sierra on it via DOS dudes patch. It only has to actually patch a couple things. Um, but yeah, so you can see it shows it's got 8 gigabytes of the 1067 DDR3 memory. We upgraded it from 4 to 8. Um, and then it has, uh, we'll hit the uh, system report here. And then on the, uh, let's see here, on the power, on the battery, you can see right here, cycle count 1 because it's a new battery. Uh, it's not it's not fully charged, but it is charging. Yes, and uh, full charge capacity and it, you, it'll give you that but actually it's a little higher than that It's like 54 or something when it's fully charged uh, And uh, yeah, so the battery is working um, It should run a lot cooler because like I said we did the the CPU we pulled all that off and repasted it and everything so and the Wi-Fi works good um, the um, eyesight camera works. The Bluetooth working. Um, I'll hit, I'll hit the photo booth here, and the camera's coming on, and you can see, yeah, we're working. So we'll get out of photo booth, and uh, yeah, so we are working. So all I gotta do is get that SSD on it, and we'll be, we'll be, we'll be golden, as they say. So. Yeah, this, um, like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna do a few more things to this, just a few more tests. What I do is I kind of open and close this a few times and uh, seems to be good. I'm just making sure that the hinge isn't binding on it. Doesn't look like it is. Let me see here. And the clutch cover looks good on the back. I'm just, just double checking the back of it here. Yeah, see that that's good there. So that closes good. Yeah. And I got rid of most of the warp in the lid. Uh, there's just a little bit 
in the back here, but uh, we're going to leave it the way it is. So, um, and the hinge is lined up, per the cover's lined up pretty good, so we're going to leave it like it is. Pull this back up, and it'll go back open. So, yeah, so we're looking good. So, now all we have to do is get the new glass on it. And we will do that here in a bit. All right, so let me um, let this thing charge up, and then we're gonna pop the new glass on it, and I'm gonna call it done. And like I said, um, just a matter of playing with the software. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so um, the case closes great. Um, my repair is holding so far. Uh, when I open it, I did get the glass on it, so the new glass is on it. Uh, I thought I was recording it, but I didn't, So, but it was real easy. Um, just peel the adhesive off, the inner lining, protective cover, stick it on, and you peel the outside cover off on the outside. So anyway, yeah, so anyway, so the only thing I have to do is get a um, SSD when it comes in, then we'll, we'll do it.